What have you got, Polly? Alleged entry on the Whitegate estate. Young girl lives on her own. What happened? It's hard to get a picture. She's in the right state. Seems some bloke knocked on her door and forced his way in. And she took a knock on the head. Anything taken? Nothing she can remember. Description? Vague. Maybe you could get more sense out of her. She needs to talk to someone. Terry Thompson? I'm DC Woods from Sun Hill. I just wanted a few words about this morning's incident. I was just having a bath. Oh, well, I can come back later if you like. No, no, might as well get it over with. Thanks. Well, just put some clothes on. Sit down if you can find a spot. It's a forced entry, red door. You've been in business long? Oh, a couple of months. I just set up on my own. Any staff? Not just yet. When did you discover the burglary? When I arrived for work. Um, when did you close up last night? Oh, it was quite late last night. Nine? Quarter past, maybe. I was trying to catch up. Sarge? Excuse me. Looks like the alarm's been tampered with. It's the same system as that electrical shop in Claydon Street last week. Newton installation. They've got a place in uh, Gunner Street, I think. Yeah, it's worth looking into. You feeling better? A little. Listen, I have actually spoken to one of your people. Yes, but by all accounts, you're pretty shaken up. I was wondering, would you mind running through the incident again with me? That's if you feel up to it. This morning, a man came to the door. What time is this, do you remember? About seven, I guess. I was getting ready for college. Uh-huh. Anyway, this guy just came to the door. This guy who came to the door, did he ring the doorbell? Did he, did he knock or did he shout? He rang the doorbell. He rang the doorbell. Okay. And then what? He pushed me aside. Did you know him? No. What did he look like? Oh, quite tall. Short fair hair. There was nothing unusual about him. Only when you spoke to WPC Page, you said he had dark hair. Oh, of course, that's right. I'm sorry. He had um, short, dark hair. Quite tall, broad, short, dark hair. So it's dark now, it's not fair. That's right. What did he say to you when you opened the door? I really can't remember. Did he take anything? No. And you're positive you didn't recognize him? No. Are you sure, Penny? Yes, I'm sure. So he just wanted to hurt you? Well, I guess so. For no reason? Well, that's what he did. I don't know what was going on in his head. It all, it all happened so quickly, I, I couldn't take it in. Anyway, he tried to push me out of his way to get inside and I tried to stop him. I tried to close the door on him. Take your time, Penny. He grabbed me. He grabbed both my arms and he pushed me. I banged my head. I, I, I don't know what happened then. I fell, I think. It's not really a lot to go on. And unless you give a detailed description, there's not a lot we can do. And, of course, there's always a risk of him coming back. Well, there really isn't anything else to tell. You'd be surprised, things you remember, after a bit of time. Things you might have blocked out, for some reason or another. Penny, if you're scared of something, we can help. <laughs> no, no, I think I was just unlucky. He could have knocked on anyone's door. I, I don't think he'll be back. I'll keep my fingers crossed. It's just the one neighbour, is there? Yeah, Mr Simpson on the other premises of business. Looks like our best bet's a visit to the alarm company then. No, no, I'd rather wait till we've got something more concrete. I don't want to scare them off. Come on, wakey wakey. Hello. Hello. DS Greg, WDC Crofts and Hill. 
Oh, you better come in then. Listen, I'm really sorry about this, but would you mind coming in? Just for a few minutes. You'd remember something? It's just... I don't want to talk out here. Can we go inside? Okay. Heavy night, Mr. Simpson. Uh, yeah, very. It's my friend's birthday party. Well, we won't keep you long. There's been a burglary in the electrical store just below you. Oh, that's what it was. Did you see something? Yeah, when I was coming back from the pub. What time is this? Well, you know, we had a bit of a lock-in. <laughs> it was about four, I think. And what pub was this, Mr. Simpson? <sighs> the boat. But it's not normal, you know. It was just a... A one-off for me mate's birthday. The lock-in, that is. What did you see? Well, to be honest, I was a little bit wasted, you know. <laughs> well, well, I was coming into the alley out the back there, and well, from what I can remember, this van pulled up just inches from me, heading out to the main road. I gave me the fright of my life. I put my hand out like that, and I could actually touch the bonnet. I mean, I was that close. And he didn't have any headlights on. He could have killed me. Do you know what sort of van it was? Yeah, well, uh, standard transit, you know. Dark blue. No, it was black. No. Oh, God, I, it, it was dark anyway. Could you see how many people were in the van? Yeah, there was three. Three, including the driver. Did you get a look at any of them? Oh, yeah, I saw the driver, didn't I? He was screaming and shouting and swearing and telling me to get out the way. He could have killed me. Yeah, but can you tell us what he looked like? Well, yeah. I mean, he's sort of scrawny looking with dark hair and, oh, he usually wears an earring. Well, you know him? Oh, well, yeah. Well, I don't know him, but I recognise him from the pub, like, you know. I've heard people calling him, um, Dell. So he drinks in the boat, does he? Hmm. Why didn't you tell us this to begin with, Mr. Simpson? Did you ask? Why didn't you tell me you'd seen your attacker before? I'm not liked around here. I thought if I told you it would get worse. Oh, I see. I used to serve him at the boat. I was part-time there for a while. You knew his name? Del. Short for Derek. Derek Collins, I think. Were you friendly with him? No. I just served him. We didn't talk. He didn't like me. It's to hear him talk about me, though. He called me a snotty bitch. Mm. <laughs> because I didn't speak like him, because I wasn't born here. I only came to this area a few months ago. I'm not from here. Neither am I. This is a friend's flat. I've only taken it on for a few months. I just wanted somewhere to get on with my work. I'm doing an MA. Somewhere to be on my own. But pretty quickly I got lonely, so I took on the job at the boat. The company. Not for money? It wasn't essential, no. It's a rough pub. Yes, well, I found out. Here's your parents. Yes. My mother died last December. Very young. 46. Was it sudden? Well, it felt sudden when it happened, but she had had cancer for a long time. There's no preparation for that kind of loss, is there? How about your dad? Oh, I don't... <laughs> we don't really communicate since she died. He took it very badly and I couldn't help, so I moved out. You're an only child? So you came here? Of all places to get away from it all. Well, it's very near college. Penny, this bloke who attacked you, this Dell, can you tell me what he wanted? <coughs> did he have a crush on you? No. And did you reject him? No, I don't know what he wanted. And he didn't see anything at all? It was, it was all a blur. I, I really can't remember. You mean you don't want to tell me? Well, might as well take a few more details down. Listen, I'm sorry. 
I don't think I should be doing this. Come on, Penny, you've come this far. No, really, I want it dropped. It's my choice, isn't it? We have to come down to the station and make another statement. Fine, I'll do that. I'm sorry if I've kept you. Aren't you being a bit foolish here? It's none of your business. Well, I hope he's worth it. What? Whoever it is you're protecting, I hope he's worth it. I bet they do more business in empty casings than anything else. Well, I don't think a real one would have made much difference, judging by Adele's handiwork last night. Can I help? Yeah, Sunny Hill CID. Morning. Oh, good morning. Could we speak to your manager, please? I'm afraid he's not here at the moment. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, we'd like a list of your employees, past and present, please. Uh, can I ask why? We're conducting an investigation. I'm afraid we can't really say any more than that at the moment. Well, we've only been in business for a month. A month? Yeah, uh, we just haven't changed the name yet. Mr. Allen brought it over as a going concern. You're the same staff? Only for the first week or so. Mr. Allen wasn't happy with the old staff's attitude. Didn't think they were very professional. It's a whole new regime now. I see. Oh, here we are. Darren, Kevin, Conrad, Graham, Stephen. Bingo. Derek Collins. Sally's short for Derek, isn't it? Yes, Collins, Derek, 28th of the 4th, 52. Also, brother Douglas, 17th of the 9th, 59. We charged them both for handling in September. Douglas doesn't live on our patch, though. He's in Lewisham. But Derek lives on the White Gate estate with his wife, 8 Atley House. I want the money you can keep it! Yes! Ah, shut up, you stupid bitch! Hello, Mr. Allen. Hello, Mr. Allen. Yeah, Mrs. Collins. Martha Collins, what do you want? WDC Croft, DS Greg, Sun Hill. I'd like to speak to Derek Collins. Is he here? Oh, yeah, he's here. Hello, Derek. Mind if we come in? Be my guest. Thanks. Right, Derek. Can you tell us what you were doing last night? I wasn't doing anything. What do you mean I was here? All night? Yeah. Martha. Only a man matching your description was seen driving away from the scene of a burglary at around 4 a.m. this morning. Martha. Mrs. Collins, was your husband with you last night? Don't ask me to lie for you, Derek. Martha, will you please open your mouth and tell him where I was? Because I won't do it. Maybe it would be better if we had this discussion back at Sun Hill. I think that might be best for all of us. There's no reason for you to go to Sun Hill. You can talk here. He wasn't here last night. He didn't come home. Do you know where he was, Mrs. Collins? Shut your mouth. Don't say another word. Oh, get him out! I said, show your mouth! I'm arresting you for burglary. You don't have to say, yeah, bitch! And anything, unless you wish to do some of what you say, maybe given an evidence. Go on. You got anything on the assault? Yes and no. Meaning? I have my work cut out just getting her to talk. And? Well, she's holding something back. I managed to find out who did the assault, but not why. Now she's withdrawn her complaint. Typical. Oh, I think she's got a reason. She's a very frightened girl. So who do you think did the assault? It's Derek Collins. Name rings a bell. Just about to check out with LIO. Don't bother. Susie and Alistair brought him in 15 minutes ago. Derek, we know you weren't at home last night. So why don't you just stop messing us around and tell us where you were? You're wasting everybody's time here. I went out. Where? Just out. And that's why Martha's at her wit's end with you, is it? Because you went out. What was it for, a walk? Might have been. Or maybe a drive. What's the matter, Derek? Why won't you look at me? How about this morning, Derek? Early this morning. Can you tell us what you were doing then? Did you visit anyone at all? Who? Huh? It's a simple question, Derek. Don't make me repeat it. Right. I'll ask you another one. Do you know Penny Thompson? I want to see me brief. Give me my brief. Do you? Oh, there's a Martha Collins to see you. I'll put her in the front interview room. She's in a bit of a state. Right. Thanks, Jim. Mrs. Collins, uh, take a seat. Can I uh, get you a cup of tea or anything? What's Derek told you? Well, he's asked for a brief. <sighs> Useless. He's never done anything off his own back. He's always got to have somebody there telling him what to do. That's why that bastard's got such a tight grip on him. Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Collins. Who's got such a tight grip on him? Doughty. Tom Doughty. You don't know, do you? 
You don't know about Tom Doughty? Well, yeah, we do know about Doughty, just not in connection with your husband. Uh, he's been, um, well, we've been trying to track him down for some time. Oh, oh, yeah, he keeps his distance, all right. He gets all the people to do his dirty work. Derek works for him. He's ruined our life. I have dreams about killing him, you know? Have you ever hated anybody that much? Was Derek working for Tom last night, Martha? He promised me he wouldn't. I want Doughty caught, even if it means Derek going down for a bit. I don't see any other way out for him, for us. But the last we heard was that Doughty was up in Yorkshire with the CID up there waiting to pounce. Yeah, it seems he's operating all over England, organising local criminals, paying them cash to do various jobs, then creaming off the profits by selling on the stolen goods. Only the last couple of times, Collins didn't get his cash. And he's been trying to get it from Doughty. Yeah, but he can't track him down. No one seems to know where he is from one day to the next. Yes, well, I think young Miss Thompson might have a good idea. Why? Well, makes sense. She must be protecting Doughty. That's why Collins went round here this morning. You think she and Doughty are having an affair? Oh, looks like it. Fancies herself as a bit of a gangster's mole, does she? Well, she might have, but she knows she's in too deep now and she's frightened. Do you think she'll continue to talk to you? I think so. Do you think you could charm her into giving us Doughty on a plane? Well, I've got a feeling that she's waiting for him. Go on, then. See if you can fix up an introduction. Listen, I'm sorry for snapping earlier. I know you were trying to help. But I know. It's all right. So, what can I do for you? thought you might like to know that we're taking Derek Collins into custody. But I, I withdrew my complaints. Don't worry. It's for another offence, Penny. It's not for the assault. But we do believe that the two are connected. However, without a little bit more information, we're going to find it difficult to charge him. Right. It helped me a lot, Penny. If you could try, you know, just try to remember what he said to you before he hit you. You see, the way I see it, Penny, is that Derek wasn't angry with you. He was looking for someone else and you just get in the way. I've, I've tried to remember. I have, honestly. He didn't mention anybody's name at all? No, I don't think so. Boyfriend, maybe? Come on, Penny. You might as well finish your story. It's off the record. I am seeing someone, yes, but he's not really a boyfriend. Not in the conventional sense. Oh? He's just... We just keep each other company from time to time. You met him in the pub? He came in once or twice before. I was in a bad way one night after work. I was in a state about my mother and he wanted to know what was wrong. How often do you see him? Every now and then. He's always very good to me. What does he do? Has he got a job? I don't know. I mean, yes, he's got a job, but I don't know what he does. He travels around a lot. How long have you been seeing him? About three months. Do you find that odd? He hasn't told you what he does for a living after three months? No, actually it doesn't. I haven't asked him. Does it worry you? I have just recently thought of breaking it off. You're telling me you know him, aren't you? You know him. I think I know him better than you. But then again, maybe you know more about him than you're telling me. Maybe you enjoy it. What? Maybe you get off in it. Do you, Penny? Do you get a thrill out of sleeping with a criminal? <laughs> I think that's your fantasy. Or is it some sort of game for you? Just something to upset your dad. Oh, you think you're so clever. You really think you've got inside my head. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know anything about him when I met him. Yes, but you found out. And instead of having the sense to get out, you waited until someone like Collins came along and gave you a smack. I didn't understand any of it. I didn't know what Derek Collins was talking about. Tom doesn't tell me anything. Penny, why don't you stop it now, eh? Stop kidding yourself. If you want to, I can help you. I was going to break it off. I was going to end it. That be him. Right, answer it. Come on. Hello? Hi. Hello. Yes, yes, I'm alone. No, I'm fine. I'm just a bit tired. I've been working. That'd be lovely. Yes, of course, I'm sure. Um, listen, Tom, I've got a bath running. I have to go. Okay? See you tonight. Where? 
here about eight o'clock. Was he drive? A silver Saab. I'm sure you don't see many around here. Satisfied? If he's coming in off the M1, then I reckon he's going to come down Beecham Street and enter the estate either through Brookvale Road or Claydon Street. So, Danny, you and Rod, Claydon Street. Tosh, you and Susie, Brookvale Road. Alan, I think it's going to be better if you and Alistair are closer to the flat itself. You don't want to take him on the street, we'll just end up with a chase. Do you think we've got enough to charge him? I reckon so. Collins is about to collapse, and Martha Collins, well, she can't wait to spill the beans, can she? So, yes, I think he's a sitting duck. Anything you're in, Tosh? No, nothing as flashy as a sob. All right, what's this? Looks promising. Silver Saab just passed us. It is heading towards you. I don't believe it. What is she doing? What the hell are you doing? I can't do this. I, I don't want to be here. Please. You're coming with me. Come on, move it. Alan, move it. Come on. Now just calm down, Penny. You're going to be all right. Just relax, all right? What am I going to say to him? What am I going to say? I don't know. Just act normal. Come on. Look. Do what you normally do. That's it, Tom. Nice and easy. What's happened? Have you been in trouble? It was an accident. Someone hit you? No, I just bumped it. I've missed you. Listen, Tom. What is it? Tom, I didn't know what was happening. Derek Collins was here. Oh, no. Hello, Tom. DC Woods, Sun Hill. Oh, I get it. Tom, you don't know what's happened to me. Hope you paid her. Tom, it wasn't like that. I was scared. Oh, poor Penny. You're breaking my heart. Right, I'm arresting you for handling stolen goods. <laughs> Get back! Do not have to say anything unless you wish to do so, but what you say may be given in evidence. I'm sorry. Don't worry, love. Catch up with you another time, eh? Come on. Nice one, Alan. He's one hell of a catch. Not no, Sergeant. I didn't want this. You made me do it. I never said I wanted this. I know it's not what you wanted to hear, but you're much better off without him. Well, that makes it all right for you, does it? Come on, Penny. You wanted this from the start. You manipulated me. You begged to be manipulated if you want my advice on this. What is this? Overtime? No, I do not want your advice. I'm only trying to help. Well, don't. You've done your job. Just leave it. Go and get all paternal with someone else. Penny. That's not it. <laughs> well, what is it? Just look after yourself, OK? You're still an outsider here and doubt he's a dangerous bloke. If you're determined to stay here, then you're going to have to face it. You're on your own, Penny. 